Hello friends, welcome to Software Testing Help and the tutorial series on Gatling. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create a Gatling simulation using the Maven archetype. We'll walk through the template project that gets created using the archetype. We'll see the structure of a sample simulation using Gatling and create a sample simulation. And finally, we'll execute the simulation using the Gatling runner as well as the command line. So let's get started. We'll use command line to generate the Gatling project structure. To do that, you can simply write maven archetype colon generate. Now what this command does is it fetches all the archetypes that are available in the maven central repository. And then we can search for the required template and continue creating the project. You can do this also by installing this template in a tool or editor of your choice like IntelliJ or Eclipse and proceed that way. But here it is simple wherein you don't need to install. You can simply search it and the command will do for you. So now it's saying choose a number or apply filter. I'll say Gatling and it searches like which is the Gatling archetype. So simply press one this one is this number the out of the search results press enter now it asks which version of the project you want to choose i'll say the latest one 35 group id is whatever group id you want to put for this project artifact id will be let's name it as my first simulation let the version be as is next 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 enter yes and it says now that the build was success and project is created let's see the directory where the project has been created it says users sth learn now we'll open this project in any editor i'll use intellij community edition I'll say import, go to the required folder. We can see there's a project named my first simulation. I'll simply open this. And now which module to choose? I'll say Maven. So now we can see it's opening the project and it will first try to resolve the dependencies as per the POM XML file. And we can see that it has resolved those dependencies and the project is now created so let's first walk through the structure of this template in the src folder there is a test which contains resources and scala this resources folder is nothing but a place where all the configuration and data files will reside there are some files which are already there which are like configuration files and log xml and recorder configuration files we'll see these files in greater details in the uh, for upcoming tutorials but overall the structure and the scala folder contains the predefined engine and recorder files and all the simulations that we are going to create will also reside in this folder so i can simply create a new directory here i can name it as simulations and we'll create all our simulations inside this let's see what are engine and recorder classes engine class is nothing but as good as the gatling shell runner so if you have created say five simulations inside this project and you use this runner you'll be able to select which simulation you want to run just by simply running this engine class and second is the recorder class which does nothing but opens the Gatling simulation recorder and it's used to record a scenario using the Gatling recorder itself wherein you don't have to write the code explicitly it's just you open the recorder and execute the scenario in say web page or mobile application use the HTTP proxy record the 
HTTP calls like API calls and it will create a Scala simulation out of it. So, and also as we know that since the Gatling project is supports the Scala language and since uh, by default IntelliJ is not configured to use or support Scala it says there is no Scala set SDK in module so you can simply say set up Scala SDK it will show you which version to use simply click OK and now it supports Scala so let's try running this uh, recorder class and see what comes up so I'll go to this recorder class and run recorder And yes, we can see some error. It says could not load main class recorder. Yeah, so this is an important step and it at times consumes a lot of time that why it is not running. And this is not running because the Scala folder is not a sources root folder. And that's why it does not know if these classes are to be loaded in the main class path. So you have to simply say mark directory as test resources root now go to recorder and also see a small play icon here click run recorder and you will see that it will open a gatling recorder for you yes so that's how the gatling recorder looks like you can simply start it you can change the browser proxy Now it says Gatling recorder running. Change the browser proxy to the one that is being listened by the Gatling recorder. And whatever actions you do in the browser will come here. You can click stop and save and the scenario will be recorded. So let's cancel this for now. Gatling engine will see when we have a simulation ready. So in the simulations folder, let's add a new Scala class and say, let's name a simulation as create user. So for creating these simulations, we'll use a web-based API we'll use this request.in it's a hosted web service that has some fake data and provides some test endpoints like get endpoints and some post endpoints like create user so we'll use this we'll create a simulation to create this user it has this request content which is name and job in JSON format and it returns response in this format so we'll write a simulation that basically creates a user on this endpoint slash api slash users and now let's see what are the basic components of this and what should be done for all the simulations that are written using the Gatling simulation classes you always need to write Gatling extends simulation that is the basic for all the simulations that you write in the maven based project now there are some imports that are always required so we can write them in advance only you can import them later as well but these are some libraries that you'll definitely be going to use. And now there are essentially three main components here. The protocol. You have to define your request. Set up the scenario and inject users. 
so any gatling scenario will have these four components and we are we can write them as part of a single inject statement itself but we are trying to modularize it so that it's easy to understand and for simulations that are more complex wherein a scenario or simulation involves like say five requests or ten requests it will be difficult to read that way so that's why we are modularizing it and splitting it into four parts so let's try these one by one the protocol is nothing but essentially some details about the base url and what kind of uh, protocol like http or https will be used and things like that so let's name it as http protocol and the syntax for this is http now base url is the base url for the api request that we are going to make as we saw that we are using this request.in so anything beyond this like the actual url api slash users will be the actual request url and base url will be this and this essentially will be appended in every request that gatling makes now we can configure any header information that we want to set up like if we write accept header then we are saying that this is the header that i want to or i am expecting from the responses now we know that since it's a json that will be written i'll say accept header json and any other headers that i want to send that i can write it as header and the syntax is header name and header value and since i am sending a content type of json i'll write So we can see here accept header is the header that we are expecting out of the response and the header that we want to send is the header named content type with value application JSON. So this is the protocol that we have defined. Now let's try defining the request. So I'll see def create user So I'll see def create users and here we'll define the scenario that we want like the what what is the request what is the request type URL and the request body so I'll say exec create user Create a user. Now post is the actual URL of the request that we are trying to make. I'll say API users. And finally the body of the request that we are trying to send. Now the syntax here is string body. 
and we'll write it as string and then finally convert it into json the syntax look a little weird when you see it like for the first time but as you start writing more and more simulations and bodies you'll get used to but essentially these bodies can also be supplied as a json file itself and we will see them in the later sections or later video tutorials but for now since it's a very small request we'll just write it in line as part of the scenario or request definition itself i'll say name of person is bob the job is painter and i have closed this i'll say as json and close this so now this is the request that we want to send for our scenario and it says that it's an HTTP request there is some friendly description the URL and finally the request body and as JSON means we want to send this request body as JSON now the third step is we want to set up the scenario what this means is will create a scenario out of this request so if there are multiple requests this step makes more sense where you'll see that okay this is a complex scenario where you are first creating a user then probably fetching some information from that user and then deleting the user but since this is not very complex we can see here let's write the name of scenario say trying to create users any friendly name that you want to write and what do you want to execute as part of this user I want to execute the request that I have defined and that's it so this is the scenario setup or scenario definition and finally we'll come to injecting users and injecting users is nothing but the kind of load configuration or the kind of virtual users that we want to send along with this scenario and this is the most important part wherein you define what kind of user load what kind of constant users or rate of users that you want to execute your scenario with so the syntax here is uh, the scenario name that is scn dot inject let's say we just want to run it for say five users and here you will also define protocols and the protocol name is http protocol so now you can kind of connect the dots this final inject user step uses this scenario the scenario uses the create user request and the inject user step also uses the protocol that we have defined as the first step so now when it injects or sends request for a scenario it also looks at the protocol and basically looks at the url information and header type and before sending any request it creates that request using all the information available in the protocol definition and uses that to send the request so now this is our first basic simulation which simply creates a user using this api users endpoint with request body name as bob and job as painter so now comes the execution part So let's see how we can execute it using the engine. And you can see that there is a play icon here. I'll simply say play run engine. Now you can see here, 
it says simulations dot create user rows the only simulation executing it now since our project does not have multiple simulations at this point in time that's why this engine runner knows that there is only one simulation to execute and that's why it has not asked that which simulation it wants to execute run description is testing simulation any friendly description that you want to write simply press enter and we can see that it has already executed it it says request count some information here and we have say at once users 5 and it also says that it is generated a report at this url let's go to this url and we can see that these are some metrics about this particular execution so it is essentially showing two requests here create a user and redirect probably it's not the correct endpoint that we have used api users probably that's the way it behaves but yeah essentially we have sent a post request here and we wanted to execute it for five users but you see 10 requests here because of redirects for each request and that's something specific with the request.in but we would have expected just five users or five requests here and five successful user creations another way to run this simulation is using the command line So the command that we've used here is <clears throat> MVN get link test. Now this is the property that we are saying that is simulation class. And this is the fully qualified name of the simulation that we want to run. So with this command line, we can directly execute whatever simulation we want to run. And once this finds the simulation, it executes it in the same way as we tried using the gatling engine and finally it creates a report and shows us the location so that's how these are the two ways you can run any simulation one is through the engine class itself that's provided by the gatling maven template and another is through the command line so that's pretty much for this tutorial guys thank you